Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a quick video for you on how I set up my Shoeforth C5 helmet for motovlogging with a GoPro and a mic. I'm currently using a GoPro Hero 8, which is the camera I had at the time and I'd certainly like to upgrade soon. Uh, and it has a media mod on it. That way you can put a mic in the back. My mount is from Chin Mounts. I highly recommend Chin Mounts. They have a mount specially made for pretty much every helmet there is. The chin mounts for GoPro are super easy to put on. You just pull off the sticker, heat it up with a hair dryer, and then press and hold. And I've had no issues with it coming loose. And thank you chin mounts for sending me a referral link. I will put that link in the comments below. I've tried several mics. This one is my favorite. It is about $25 on Amazon, and I will put that link in the comments below. It's very flexible, very light, and the sound quality, I feel, is very good. This is very easy to install. I wrapped up some of the extra cord and put a little twist tie on it just so that it's neat inside the cheek pads. And you're going to want about 12 to 13 inches of extra cord to reach between where I'm going to install the mic and the top of the modular helmet so that you can open and close it and not have to disconnect the connector every time you open and close your helmet. The center mic is on the left hand side and ideally I would have preferred to have the microphone on that side but since GoPro's media mod plug-in is on the right, I have to have a mic on either side. So I'm just gonna pull the cheek pad out. It snaps out easily. And then you're just gonna tuck this little cluster of wires into the cheek pad and then a little bit of electrical tape to secure it on the inside of the helmet. Make sure the tail, the extra 12 to 13 inches of cable you have, is coming out the top. Again, so that when you open and close your modular, you have room. And that's it, friends. That simple. When I'm not using my GoPro mic, I do thread this wire along the cheek pad. And then I just tuck this plug, the extra cording, under the cheek pad here. And then it's, it's nice and clean and you don't have to worry about the cord getting in the way of your helmet. And that's, that's it. Plug and play, record some videos, have some fun. If you thought this video was helpful, please subscribe below and stay tuned for all my adventures. Take care. Bye-bye.